This young man touched me in a way like I was like, ain't nobody. Cause, cause here's the thing, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Music, there are people who are gonna give you music, what I call serving the masses, like drive-through music. It's not gonna offend you. It's real nice and dainty. The color inside the lines, and, and for and for the new world, that kind of works, you know, because I, I think like the the social media sort of squeezes the life out of someone who wants to take a chance. Yeah. You take a chance, you, you tease them for it. You're so goofy, you're so dumb, and you, you're so attached to your thumbs that anybody to do something outside of the lines, you, you call them goofy and make them stupid. Yeah. When I listen to music, I listen to something I go, I've never heard that before. When I heard your music, the records that you played for me, I said, I thought, I don't know who wrote, because I didn't see you first. I said, who wrote that? Five, four, three, two, one. What's poppin', Jacksonville? This is your girl, Carla. Tune in to Power 904. This is your girl, Carla, with Power 904, and I'm talking with Jay Rail. How are you today? I'm good. I can't complain, man. Just, just getting back from all that chaos that happened last night at the HBC event with Lil Wayne. And, you know, the tardiness has went down. People got stampeded and trundled on. It was terrible, man. But, you know, in, in, in the love of music, man, I, I, I want to apologize for my city, my, my second home for acting as You know what I'm saying? But, you know, all is good. Wow. So, you know, tell us a little bit about who you are. Who is j Rail? Uh, I'm j Rail. First and foremost, I'm a father. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a descendant of music, musical greats like, you know, Maurice, um, Wright, and we're doing a lot of earth and the fire. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I've like, been in my blood for a long time, as you all know, because of the great hits that, you know, earth and the fire that they put out. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lover, man. I'm a, I'm a person who loves to do music. You know what I'm saying? I, I love what music is all about. I'm saying your stories, and, you know, talking about your, you know, your, your ups and your downs and talking about the ways that fix things, like, you know, and broken hearts and even keep the love going. You know what I'm saying? So, um, composer, songwriter, artist, you know, I'm a, I'm an engineer, Grammy nominated on top of that. I mean, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's a blessing just to be, you know, a part of this thing that we all love called music. You know, I can actually add my piece to, you know, a piece of the pie. That's, that's, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. So, yeah. Hats off to all the success. All the success. Well, since you mentioned music, um, it's obviously that that's a passion for you. Um, tell me, um, are are there any other passions that you like to like perfect or showcase in the in the future? Yeah, you know, I, I like directing. Uh, I I just directed co-directed my first video, um, off off my um my new album upcoming album by Liz. I just co-directed my video called uh, Addiction. Um, I like the fact that I can tell people how to like you know pretty much put my own vision together, and they actually do it. It's pretty cool. It was, it was really weird because then before I seen the video, I envisioned how the video should look, and that's exactly what it did. So that's going to drop in the next couple of weeks, actually. So y'all yeah, see that across, you know, Revolt, Revolt TV, BBT, uh, Jam, BBT, uh, Live, um, MTV, and Jam, 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 you know, shout out to the big homie Dane Dash. Dane Dash is also going, you know, him and Columbus shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they have a little network they just did with a Comcast called Dash Network. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see it on there. So, I mean, directing. Yeah, I, know, I, like, I, like, I like the directing thing. That's, that's my thing. So, would you say that you enjoy more being behind the scene or performing? I like getting money. Whatever makes money, period. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing better than making bona fide hits. You make bona fide hits, then you get the money. Whatever way it is made, whether it be 
behind the scenes or if you're in front of that camera tap dancing. I don't know if it can get you, whatever gets the money. I'm with it. So is it important to you, like, because you leave these stamps on people that listen, the audience that hears um, your music, and it's, it's more so sounds like you're speaking within relationships and love. Yeah. No, and the thing about that, I, I, I got to blame my big brother music soul child for that. Um, you know, music was definitely a real, real, real impactful artist especially uh, when I'm on my, you know, on my glide trying to figure out how to do this stuff because all of his songs were blueprints to figuring out what you should do in a relationship, and that's what we really look to him for. You know what I'm saying? So with him being the person who inspired me, so like, it kind of, um, you know, it, it, it kind of like rubbed off on me. You know what I'm saying? So... I have no, I have no other understanding of how to make music make sense besides talking about love and talking about relationships because those are the real things that everybody across the world could honestly relate to. Everybody's had a heartbreak before. Everybody's had a situation where they either been cheated on or they were cheater. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the music that I like to do, I, I have to do that because that's that that gives me an opportunity to show you that first and foremost I'm a real person. And right. that just, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I know I know I ain't perfect all the day like all the time. So like like that's what my album's about. Religion. My, my album's about pretty much me. Like if 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 the light bulb above you is supposed to go out and you didn't know the size of it until you take the light the light bulb out. And when you change it, then you will learn the lesson that okay, this nine volt is gonna fit here. So now the next bug next to it goes out. You don't got to guess what size it is. You already know. Right, what it is. right. You feel me? So with right. that communication, that's, that's just what it is. Life. That's why I say it's called life music that I do. So, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I got to blame Music Soul Child, also a.k.a. one half of the main group called Burning Roses. That, that's something that's coming uh, in the spring. Yeah, music Soul Child is uh, we, we started a group called Burning Roses. The name of the album is going to be called mm-hmm. Taking Well. So I can't wait for y'all to hear that. That's going to be fucking phenomenal because we have some great people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is that one of your new songs that's coming up? Yeah, it's, it's an album. It's an album you got coming on, actually. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, hold that song. Hold that thought because I'm gonna need you to do something in a minute for me. For the listening ears that will be hearing your voice through what's popping with Power 904 now, give me a little bit of your feedback on like the music industry, like how it is with the uh, digital age now. How do you feel about that? Either you're gonna get with it, or yeah, it's just like this. You know the old saying people say you should have got off the pot. Right. right. You gotta get with. The moving times. It's no different from when the baby boomers start to see, uh, you know, the next generation come in and they started doing what it was. People started talking a hell of shit about how what rap music was this, this and that. Okay, cool. Let's talk about the fact that cassette tapes are no longer relevant anymore. They went from cassette tapes to CDs. Now all of a sudden, CDs became irrelevant because you have flash drives and then you got this whole new wave of stream. Okay. You have to be ahead of the curve. If you're not ahead of the curve, how do you feel you eat, man? You got to learn what it is about figuring out what's going on. You got to get on top of your Spotify views. You got to get on top of your YouTube views. Your, uh, like, you got to be on that. It's the, only, it's the only right thing for a nigga to be able to even see what it is that you're doing. If you don't garner at least a million streams within, you know, 30 days of when you drop a record, like, how the hell is like, like, you got to, it's literally, it's, it's almost impossible. It's like, all these new artists that came out here to Atlanta for this APC weekend, right? Mm-hmm. The new ways that you don't have to wait for nobody to bring no camera out. You got your camera right there in your hand. You got your phone. Put, turn your right. phone on, man. That's crazy. Right. You have right. everything is content-based now. Look how many look how many people become famous just off the video of them seeing the stampede last night at Little Wayne Show. So many people became so famous by getting posted and getting reposted. So you can post it, repost it on uh 
on Shady Room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like it was a lot of different niggas that became stars over the night over somebody getting hurt because they pulled their fucking phone out. So why you can't do that with your music? Why you can't pull your music out? Sure. Like, 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 you can do it for everything else. Everybody want to be nosy. So let them be nosy on your music. And that's what I try to do. Every time you see an opportunity, let me tell you this, right? Every time I get an opportunity to take a picture or be able to show that, that there's a brand association with the likes of just like whoever, like, like, last, like, just, uh, I was with my, my little, my, my, my little big bro, I call him my little big bro, Quincy, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to post that picture in a second. Now his fan base is going to see what it is mixed in with my fan base. <laughs> and now they're going to get to continue to see that there's an organic, you know, relationship there, just like they've seen with the relationship between me and Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx yeah. stopped the whole party for the BET Awards and said, hey man, fuck y'all. I love y'all, but fuck y'all. This is my guest of honor. I don't give a damn what he want. Give it. If he want money, give it to him. That's what he told the security guard. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And I'll, I'll forever remember that and I'll forever be grateful for the fact that, you know, somebody who is, like, I got to work with four, you know, three out of the four people who had, um, inspired me to do music. You know what I'm saying? That's music, so, music soul child. Tyrese and Jamie Foxx. <clears throat> Only other person missing is Tank. I gotta get in the lab with Tank. You know what I'm saying? If I get in the lab with Tank, I mean, I got records on three out of the four niggas I just mentioned. You know what I'm saying? And a Grammy nomination in one of the. So, <laughs> stay ahead of the curve, man. That's the only way you go and goddamn figure it out, man. You gotta stay ahead of stay with the time. So, death to the past, long live the future. <laughs> right. Well, it sounds like you have a goal set out. You're saying you have one more to go, which is tank. So, I look forward to taking my picture with you soon as well. So, let me ask you this. <laughs> I had to throw that in on you. So, do you feel it, um, it, with the feelings that you have now, do you feel like it, it takes away from the actual, like, the skill and the passion um, from the real talent that people have. Say that one more time. Just one more time. In that digital age that we were just talking about, using camera phones, using what you have to push it to make it, do you have any feelings towards um, whether it takes away from the actual skill or the passion for, like, the real talent that a person has? Maybe say they don't use it. Let's throw that out there. Say they don't use it. Say last night you used an example. They were in there. They were just snapping. They became famous or their numbers went up just because they had a footage of somebody getting hurt. I think that, no, I don't think it's take away from a person's talent. It's like this, man. It's the first person to get on base. That's how I look at it, for real, for real. I mean, you got to think about it. Everything is about first person. First, before you were thought of, you're the first person make, to make it to your mama A. That means that you're already a cop. Right, right, right. You feel me? So the name of the game is, like, yo, he has the curve. You feel me? Right, <laughs> right. You got, you got to be on top of your game and stay on top of your square for anything that makes sense. So, yeah, nah, you can't it. Look, it, it. Yeah, man, everybody got, there's it, a million ways to make fried chicken. You feel me? Everybody checking on taste the same. So no, it doesn't. You feel me? Right. And, and if you really want to get down, have a have a have a have a cook off of macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese on Thanksgiving and see who gets better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because everybody makes that different. Right, that's what everybody got their own vibe how they learn. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you know, don't worry about everybody else. Just do you. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing I did learn. When I started to stop worrying about everybody else, start doing me. A lot of great results started to come to my palate, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, don't worry about nothing, just do it. That's some great advice that you just gave. Let all the listening ears know where they can follow you at on social media. Yeah, you can follow me at, first and foremost, my website, R-E-L-L-I-G-I-O-N.com. That's religion.com. Um, all of my social uh, media platforms, uh, monikers is I-A-M-J-R-E-L-L. I am Javel. Put that in for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even my old school MySpace, which nobody's on, but you can still do it just in case some people got, you know, habits. <laughs> you can't let me right. Because you're stuck in the past. 
Right. <laughs> uh, my Gmail is I N G L. You can hit me on there. Also, I like to uh, also um, say this too. I have a brand new business alongside with my two business partners, June Summers and Reality. Um, we're called 3 a.m. Music Group. 3 a.m. Music Group. So, y'all gonna be hearing a lot of stuff coming from that. Shout out to my brother, Chris Jones, over there at Atlantic Records. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we got a lot of good things popping off here for the top of the new year. You know what I'm saying? Brand new. It's gonna be new cars and new babies because there's new money in the mix. So, I think it's gonna be new babies. I hear you. Um, as you recall, I told you to hold that thought when you were talking about um, upcoming music. So when I end interviews with everyone, I normally ask them to leave me a message with the what's popping because that's me. That's my logo. That's what it stands for. And everybody has something to pop off about. So I would like for you to just give me a line of the, of the upcoming music. You can choose whichever song you want to. Give us the title of it. Um, and then... We'll go from there. Okay. Um, well, what y'all going to definitely be hearing is it's called Love and Hip Hop. So, I don't want to give out too much of a surprise, but yeah. The hook one says, ain't no games in Love and Hip Hop. Ain't no shame in Love and Hip Hop. They can do this thing whether, you like, whether they like it or not. Because ain't no names in Love and Hip Hop. I just call her Love and Hip Hop. So, with that being the case, you might already understand that. <laughs> <laughs> when you get put in front of that screen, hey, everybody gonna judge you just do you. <laughs> just like you. Right. I thank you so much for this opportunity to speak oh, with you, you, to hear all the feedback that you have. That's very important to the listeners on Power 904. Thank you so much. Once again, this is your girl, Carla. What's popping with Power 904?